Welcome back to the Land of House vlog. My water storage tanks are up this hill from the ram pump. They come down this black line here, go under the culvert tile, and come out over here. Uh, let's see, right in here a little bit. And I've got a garden hose that goes from there to the garden. The problem is, whenever I mow, I don't have any way of disconnecting down here to um, roll up the hose so I can mow. So today, what I plan on doing is putting in a shutoff valve. Let me show you what I have. I'm going to bury this long three quarter inch PVC pipe that has two elbows coming up. And then I'm gonna install this guy right here. It's a brass valve, so hopefully it won't uh, degrade much in the sun. And uh, later on, if I decide to do something else with this line, such as bring it to the garden, I can just disconnect this piece and uh, add more of that black poly pipe to the garden and uh, reuse this piece. So anyway, let's get started with this build. I've already got one of these on that poly pipe, so I won't need that. But let's go ahead and get these connections glued up here. So I need a, some pipe on, pipe glue on this one. That stuff goes on nice and thick. Now I could angle this off to the side to go towards the garden, but I think I'll just let the garden hose do that and I'll keep it straight. Just so that uh, if I want to move this later on, it won't be offset at a weird angle. Got some pipe tape here I'm going to add to this piece, I do believe. Just help secure this on here. All right, I'm just gonna uh, take this hose off of here. It's probably about to be a wet situation, but be okay. I did close off the tanks up top so they won't be leaking down too much. All right, I'm gonna make sure that this hose clamp is nice and tight before I put it under the ground. Now I'm just going to attempt to bury the line back to about this point or so and hopefully that will give me enough uh, uh, pressure against this to keep it in place. But anyway, so I'm just going to start digging about right here. Hopefully it won't be too hard to, to bury this. I only want to go down maybe four or five inches. All right, let me see if that's enough just to hold this into place. Like I said, I may come back later and move it around, but I just want this to be buried enough that it won't be sliding around. Looking pretty good. I'm tossing a couple rocks on here to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. That should do it. All right, very nice. And I also added this uh, quick release here so that uh, whenever I'm ready to mow, I can just pop the hose off of that. Should be good to go. Having this quick disconnect is gonna be so great for watering the garden and being able to mow without uh, having to stop, get off the mower and move the hose and all kinds of fun stuff. But we can't test this until the ram pump is fixed. What's happening is silt is building up on the intake. So let's head down to the creek and work with that. This was my original intake prototype. And as you can see, it gets covered in all this silt. And uh, what that does is prevent the flow to the pump. So there is some water passing through but not enough to get the pump going. So I'm gonna take this off and put a whole bunch more holes in this uh, pipe, and hopefully that will allow enough filtration to, uh, to get this going. So anyway, let me take apart this stand real quick. I don't think I did it. I've been meaning to check on this anyway, but you can see that is a lot of nasty silt that just builds up on here and it's kind of like a, a jello but anyway i'm gonna 
rinse that off. We'll take this to the shop and put a whole much, whole bunch more windows in here or holes to allow more water to pass through. So the plan is to remove the screen and then put a whole bunch of holes on the bottom of the three inch pipe and that should be plenty. Now I have a concept in the future where I'm going to use a T right here and have two of these so that there is hopefully enough surface area pulling water that it's not drawing that silt onto the screen. But anyway, that's for another day. Let's see if I can get these off here. They have a bad habit of rusting. So I know the big window clogs up, but I'm thinking if I put enough small holes, it'll at least help. So I've got a rather large drill bit here. I'm just gonna start pushing some holes through and uh, see what happens. All right, I think that has significantly increased the surface area for the intake here. Uh, put more holes down here towards the end than I did up here, but uh, should be good. Let's rescreen this thing and uh, see how it does. This should work a lot better, or at least give me a few more days without clogging up. Even though it looks like a good flow, it's not. So I'm gonna hold this up, let that pipe fill up some, and then maybe drop it down here so it'll get the full flow. Yeah, now we're talking. Just gonna pull the air out. That should do it. That's the flow rate we're looking for. Nice. Let me see if there's any air stuck in here. We'll get this ram pump going again. I have really enjoyed that riding mower. Uh, Whenever it's a little bit damp, like it has been today, that the, uh, the tires slip a little bit on the hill. So I didn't mow that. But um, somebody was saying you can get chains for these things, and I probably will, probably will do that. Um, just to make it a lot easier, because especially on the new hill that I've just cleared off, uh, coming back up, it slips a bit and tears up the, the grass. So um, anyway, I'll have to look into getting some chains for those back tires. Well. Um, the ramp pump's been running now for about 30 minutes, so I think it's time to go up here and turn the tanks on and see how well the uh, new shutoff valve is working. Whew. That was a pretty serious pressure there. What do we break? Well, developed a bit of a leak here after that giant surge. <laughs> Next time I'll know to uh, turn it on a little bit slower. I guess you heard that snap. Uh, it's really wild. I guess water has some kind of a uh, hammer effect or ram effect. Strange. Somebody should invent something that uses that force. Well, I may have to replace that piece if it truly is busted, which to leak like that, I'm guessing it is. Let's go down here and see what this supply is going to do for us. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's probably still some loss where it had those 290s, but I mean, that's pretty serious water to uh, water a garden with. I'm pleased enough with that. I contacted a company that sells a mouse proof door stop or door sweep and they never did contact me back so I just bought some uh, really cheap door sweeps at uh, Walmart. So let's go ahead and get these installed on the three doors here in the shop because 
it's time to get the bugs to uh, stop coming in here. Step one is gonna be measuring out on the door where I want this to fit. Thirty-one and a half inches ought to do it. Okay, got this piece cut down to the size that I'm looking for. Seems to be a pretty decent fit. So I had a few spiders get in, and I think this is the primary location for where that would happen. The front and back doors. Okay, let's see how we did. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room here. So now I just need to get some of these screws in. We should be good to go. I was hoping to get that weather stripping from that company with the mouse resistant piece, but uh, they just never did contact me back. Now to see how well this thing works. Seems pretty good to me. Just got the front door pieces done, and it seems to work well. So they're a little bit cheap. I'm not sure how long they're gonna work, but for now, they seem to be doing okay. Just lightly sweeping the ground there. And I got real low and checked, and don't see any light coming through, so it's doing the job. Looks like the threat of rain has ended for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some painting on the shop here. I'd like to have at least the first coat done this year. <laughs> uh, the front has already had two coats on it, so doing pretty good. Well, it turns out my paint roller had dried out, and that's the only one I had, so I didn't get to paint. But I think I'm going to haul off this pile of logs, maybe a couple of those, and then a couple of these. And uh, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm probably going to turn in to the house after that. Good plan. After about a month of procrastination, I have finally finished the table. It is now white. I uh, had to put four coats of paint on every bit of it, so uh, hopefully it will look nice here. But anyway, time to put this together. I feel like this has been a very productive work day. Definitely got a lot done. Things that I've been putting off for some time. Well, I'm going to um, put together couple of ram pumps and uh, get them prepared for shipment tomorrow and I guess just hang out with the family for the rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.